My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We got a lot of bang for the buck right here. Little lightweight Nova with a Performance 350. It's got a four speed upgraded suspension, uh, hot looking color. It's got the Yanko stripes on it, cool wheels. Again, just a cool package, uh, very affordable. Uh, go to volocars.com. That's where you'll find price tags on about 200 collector cars that we do offer for sale. And that's where you find photos of each car top to bottom and the full description of each car. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon. That way you'll be notified as they're posted. For right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, just a cool car. It's got the look. It's got the performance. Uh, overall condition is very good. Uh, I did recently, we sold the red one. Pretty much the same deal as a Yanko clone. That car was pristine, and it brought $28,000, almost double what this car is, uh, more than this one. That was pristine. This is a really good car, but it's not pristine, but I'll tell you all about it. Uh, we're told it came from California, and that's very believable. If you look underneath the car, the floorboards, dry, clean metal, and they've been scraped and cleaned, but not painted over. That was on purpose. Once it's painted over, who knows what's hidden behind that paint. This is its nice original uh, floors, uh, nothing to hide, just clean, honest metal. It's recently had an upgraded suspension uh, from CPP. Up front, it's got big fat tubular control arms, uh, a fatter sway bar, and the ball joints, shocks, all that's been replaced. There's frame connectors from the front to the back that helps prevent body twist. And in back, the springs, the um, bushings, the shocks, that's been replaced. And it's been upgraded with a CPP uh, sway bar. And it also has lowering blocks. It gives it this nice look, the stance. Custom exhaust is mandrel bent, uh, welded exhaust with Flowmaster mufflers. It dumps out right before the rear end, so it makes a little rumble. If you wanted to quiet it up, you can put tail, tailpipes going all the way out the back if you so desire. Upgraded brakes. It's got disc at all four wheels. That was done within the last couple of years. Not many miles on those at all. You look up at the motor. It's clean. It has a high torque starter. The motor mounts look new. It was converted. It was an automatic car. It was recently converted to a four-speed. There's like hardly any miles on the four-speed. So the clutch is new, transmission's gone through, and it's a new Hurst four-speed shifter that's in there. Four-speed makes all the difference. It's so fun going through those gears in a little car, a little hot rod like this one. Uh, Ten-bolt rear end. So underneath, clean, respectable, has some nice upgrades. Now the body on the car is also very impressive. It just fits nice. You look down the side, it's straight. The doors, the hood, and the trunk, the gaps are right on. This is a nice square car, nothing odd, nothing goofy. Uh, you know, the, the doors aren't hitting the fenders or the body. It's all square and flush, so a very nice, nice body. The hood fits nice. Uh, there were some bubbles. Must be on the other side. There were some bubbles right uh, down by the tire. Uh, overall, it's painted Synergy Green. That's a modern Camaro color. People love it. The metal flake uh, is laid out nice. It's got a glossy finish. But this is the difference between this and the 60 grand car. This paint job is very nice, uh, but it's not glass. There's a little dust, a little orange peel. You could wet sand and buff it to bring it to the next level, but I do not think it needs it. Uh, the Yanko decals on the hood down the side has the Yanko stickers here, uh, new emblems, 17 inch Hearst wheels. Now Hearst had a wheel that looked like this back in the day in the 60s, but this is the modern 17 inch version of it. 
Uh, they're new a couple of years ago, so were the tires. Uh, new mirrors, new windshield. The rest of the glass is original, so you'll find little scratches in the glass, which is typical. Uh, new weather strips around the doors. Uh, new sill plates. Door jams are painted real decent. Original quarter panels on the car. The rear bumper is re-chromed. The tail lights are original, so this trim around it's a little dented up, a little worn. There is a dent right here. The paint's not chipped. I'm almost certain my dent guy can take that out. He comes around about once a week. If you buy this car, remind your salesman. Ask him if that dent got fixed. Uh, where did those bubbles go? I'm on the same side, didn't I? aren't I? <clears throat> we'll point those out in a minute. It uh, looks like maybe they had a different mirror on here. There's a hole that's plugged right here. They must have moved the mirror, put it in the proper location. So why don't we open the hood and the trunk and uh, give you a tour of the inside. All right, let's see if Grandma left her groceries in the trunk. Now, we do have real solid metal. I don't see any cuts or splices or patches. I even looked up under here where the quarter panels are usually cut off and replaced. I really believe they are the original quarter panels. Someone spray canned a coat of spatter finish paint over it. Uh, you do have a spare, uh, which is holding air. I don't see a jack. And you do have a fire extinguisher here. Uh, and the weather strip was replaced around the, the trunk jam there. Now, earlier I mentioned there's some bubbles. We're going to point those out here. Right here behind the tire. There are some bubbles, so there is some amount of body filler there. Doesn't mean it's rotten. Uh, I had a GTO with just some pits, and they put some filler, and it was bubbled up not much longer after that. But I can tell you this is the original spot welds from the factory, so really clean metal. And since we're here, let's look at the bottom of the door. See how that seam is nice and crisp? That's nice, clean uh, metal right there. But I did want to point out that one spot. So let's check out the interior. It's got some nice features. Look at the door panels. They're new front and back. Yanko Deuce, uh, new armrests, new uh, window cranks and handles. Down on the floor, the carpet was replaced and you got this Hurst four-speed shifter. Now the seats I really like. These sport seats really hold you in place. They got leather trim with like a suede type uh, diamond stitched uh, center sections. And the cool part is they upholstered the back seat to match. Uh, so front and back seats have the same upholstery. The dash, uh, dash pad is new. It has white face gauges and when you turn on the lights they actually light up green. It's kind of hard to see in here but they light up green. There is a little mini tachometer in the dash. Now the plastic trim is original. Um, <clears throat> I don't, I only have one lever here, so I, honestly I don't know how or if the heat is working. I noticed the heater hoses are hooked up. There's only one lever. It's missing the blower lever. The steering wheel, this is a genuine Momo wheel. It's a uh, genuine suede, so a nice sport wheel. And then the uh, headliner was replaced and it's got a LED uh, light. Complete set of GM seat belts too, front and back and the shoulder belts. So it's got a nice interior, like the exterior. It's not pristine, but it's real nice. Now I left the headlights on. They're called day makers. They're really bright headlights, a really nice addition uh, to these cars uh, compared to the old ones. Uh, chrome bumpers new, the lenses are new. The trim looks like it's good original. So we got a 350 motor with some uh, go fast uh, parts on it. Got aluminum intake, uh, Edelbrock carburetor with an electric choke, and that looks new. HEI ignition system with MSD wires. Uh, you got headers, got Yanko stickers on the valve covers, some nice billet breathers, and a few touches of green here and there. On the front, it has this uh, nice gear belt system, uh, or the wide pulleys, I should say. 
<clears throat> it's got a power brake system. And the radiator is a aluminum radiator, you got a chrome cover, and you got an electric fan. A die hard battery has a disconnect switch. So again, not a nut and bolt restored engine apartment, but this is very clean, respectable. So there you have it. That's my impression of the car. And I just noticed these really cool locks. They almost look like pistons. Uh, and I better turn off the headlights as well. But anyway, again, for the money, I, I keep saying it, but what cars are costing these days, this is not a junk. It's just not perfect, but it's a good, solid car. Fits nice, looks nice, sits nice. Great runner. It's got some nice upgrades, nice features at a very affordable price. I bet this thing flies off our showroom floor. So get to volocars.com if you like it. I gave you my impression. There's plenty of ways on there to talk to the salesman. If you have questions or concerns, please ask them. They'll help you the best they can. They can get this delivered or help you get it delivered to any driveway in the country. Uh, and they can help with your financing as well at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on that bell icon, you'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.